Hey everybody, Brian from Tato Gear here. What we're going to do today is uh, talk a little bit about Tato Gear as the company and we're going to look at the products that Tato Gear has to offer. Now Tato Gear started out as AAA, AAA, LLC. We're a laser engraving, laser cutting machine shop. Uh, we're a small shop. Uh, it is a home based business right in my backyard. We, we built a shop right in my yard. We started out in a uh, actually 14 by 10 uh, metal utility building with a with a uh, little lathe and uh, we added a laser engraver and uh, since have built a larger shop and moved everything into it over the past couple years and uh, we've grown from there. Uh, we didn't ordinarily start out as a gear manufacturer uh, I'm a backpacker and being a backpacker I, as I went on trips and hit the trail and I found needs that I had uh, that I couldn't find a product to fulfill those needs so I think with most any cottage industry guys out there uh, that's how we get started uh, we, we make a little something here and there and other people see it and other people like it and they want it and, and that's that's pretty much how we got started and uh, you know I've got a couple distributors uh, Dutch being one of them at DutchWearGear.com uh, great guy uh, we do a lot of business together another being uh, UK hammocks over in the UK and so uh, yeah that's about how we got started and you know we're we're going to strive to uh, bring you better products, better innovations. Try to sort of think outside of the box a little bit. And so let's, uh, with that being said, look at some of what we offer. Um, we have a range of stoves that we offer, from your classic soda can style stoves. Been around for years. I've been making these for years actually started selling these on eBay before I even was a business probably about 10 years ago. And you know, these are great stoves, very reliable, durable. I've been carrying the same one for over seven years now. Uh, so I got three different styles of soda can stoves. Uh, easy to make if you want to make your, yourself, but not everybody's DIY capable. And that I try to fill that need right here. Um, our next product, is our Element Titanium Wood Stove. This is a fold flat stove. Weighs like 4.8 ounces or 5 ounces. Um, sets up, it's about 4.5 inches tall by 4.5 by 3 deep. And this is a great little wood stove and we'll look more on this later. Next we have are foldable alcohol wick stoves. Now we have two models, we have the AB13 and we have the AB13 hybrid. The two differences are AB13 is your standard wick stove. It burns strictly from the wick. What sets mine apart is it does have its folding pot stand legs. Uh, this is the only wick stove on the market that incorporates that design. Now the AB13 hybrid, what sets it apart from anything on the market is it also has jet holes. And this thing works a little like the soda can stoves. As it heats up, those jets jet out. Now these two stoves, the AB13 and AB13 Hybrid, are exactly the same size. AB13 Hybrid has twice the BTUs as the AB13. So they, they both serve two, two purposes. Uh, the AB13 is a lower BTU. A lot of people like baking on the trail. Uh, it will boil water. Uh, it's a little slower. It takes around 12 minutes to boil two cups of water. Whereas the AB13 Hybrid is a lot hotter and it burns a lot quicker. Uh, you can get a bowl somewhere around six to eight minutes. And 
We also make these little aluminum windscreens. Uh, they're great if you just want to carry a, a, an alcohol stove. Rolls up, they'll slide right down in your pot. Hooks together. <coughs> and we carry a multitude of bottles. Uh, one ounce, two ounce, four ounce bottles to carry your fuel in. Also, the remote feeds for the AB13s. Uh, fire starter, uh, this is uh, fat wood. Uh, my son actually goes out, chips this himself. This is a uh, <coughs> little money that he makes to uh, do the things he wants to do and it builds responsibility for him. So it's a good thing. So moving on to some of our hammock stuff. We have the Tato tarp pulls. Now what these do is a couple things. A lot of tarps, if you look at this like I've got the Hennessy right here, it doesn't have any tarp pull out on it. Uh, if you look at the Warbonnet Superfly, they will. And they're great. I have two Superflies and love them but I love my Hennessy also. But what happens, and especially if you if you come into some bad weather and you really have to hunker down, when you pull that tarp down, you, you lose space in there. So what these will do for you is you can clip these on anywhere you want, and they come supplied with shock cord, and you can gain one to two feet, if not more, inside your tarp width-wise. And they also, if, if you have a failure, on the trail, let's say you lose a buckle on one of your corners, these will make a temporary fix. You can clip them on right here and your trip's not ruined. You, you can still continue on. So these are great. Uh, you can find these on my website or dutchwaregear.com. Um, the next thing I wanna look at is the hangle. Uh, this right here, gives you your 30 degree angle on your hammock hang. Uh, it'll work with whoopee slings, regular cord, uh, the war bonnet straps. It'll work with any suspension on the market. And what you do is you take it and you hook it on. And once you hook it on, you adjust your suspension to where this little level is level and that gives you your 30 degree angle. Simple as that. And then we have a multitude of hooks from uh, quilt hangers. Uh, slip your suspension through, lock it in, hang your quilt. These are great. Got two different styles of those. Utility hooks, uh, hang these on your suspension. You can hang your little ditty bags. Keeps things well organized. Um, we got a couple of different uh, quilt hooks to help cinch things up underneath you. If you get a little draft underneath, sometimes you can't get it adjusted just right. These little hooks, you got one that's over the ridge line and one that clips on the side. These will help you get that cinched right up on you. And then you have these door hooks. And that's essentially what it is. Put it on the end of your shock cord or whatever, on the ends of your hammocks that have doors. And these are just little hooks. They, they clip on, they stay in place and it gives you a lot more options. So that's what we offer in the hammock hardware section and the tarp hardware section. We also offer some DIY supplies. We've got your shock cords, zingot, uh, some stove making supplies like the carbon fiber wick. Uh, we sell it by the square foot. Uh, high temperature silicone hose. Uh, different nipples, uh, fuel nipples, uh, for making stoves. Uh, we have a lot of different stuff on our website. Uh, check us out on www.tatogear.com. That's www.tatogear.com. And check out the videos. Uh, if you go on there, we have videos for each separate product if you want to learn more about them. And, uh, Leave us some feedback on the website, uh, shoot us an email, and uh, thank you very much.